Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through how to fix stuttering audio issues uh, inside OBS Studio. Uh, this works as well in Streamlabs OBS uh, as well as any other software that is built all of, off of the uh, OBS software. Uh, and this is a problem that I ran into uh, when I started doing more advanced stuff with my audio setup. Uh, so let's go ahead and roll the intro and then we'll dive into the video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do is share with you guys the issue I was having, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I found to fix it. Uh, so the issue that I was having, and, and just to kind of reiterate, because I don't know if this will fix every sound issue people may be having in OBS Studio. Uh, so this has to do with your sample rates for your audio devices. So if you've already tried that, uh, then this may not be the video for you. Uh, however, even if you have tried that, maybe you didn't do it correctly because the first time I tried to do it, I did not do it correctly. Uh, so you might want to still take a look as that could still be your issue and you're just not fully rectifying the issue. All right. With that said, the issue I was having is I installed what's called voice meter banana onto my computer and what voice meter banana, uh, alongside the software, uh, virtual audio cable allow you to do is separate all of your different audio sources into basically different channels uh, so that you can use them separately in recordings or even in um, OBS when you're live streaming. So for example, let's say that I want to have music in my headphones, uh, but I don't want that music to play on my live stream. Well, then I could use Voice Meter Banana, again, paired with uh, Virtual Audio Cable to set up my computer sources so that I could have separate audio in my headphones as uh, uh, versus what is outputting to my live stream. Outside of that, what it also allows me to do is set up different audio tracks inside OBS uh, so that when I'm doing a recording... Uh, I can actually have different audio sources like my Spotify, my Discord uh, for my chat, you know, like other people talking to me, my own microphone, the game audio, all of that stuff on a different audio track. That way, when I go into my editing program, Adobe Premiere, I'm able to individually adjust uh, things if I need to. Like, let's say that maybe on the stream, uh, some of my teammates' voices were louder than the game audio or my own voice, uh, and I needed to adjust that in the recording to produce a better, more professional video. Uh, I would then be able to do that. Now, the issue I ran into when doing this or setting all this up is that when I would start my live stream and I would have the music playing in the background while my stream starting screen, as you can see here on screen, is showing, uh, the music would sound fine. However... When I would switch my scene to my just chatting, which is what I normally start with uh, after the countdown goes down on my starting soon, starting soon screen, uh, then the audio would start stuttering specifically for my Spotify music that I was playing. Um, so the issue ended up being, as I said, my sample rates. So when you go into your OBS settings, and again, this works with Streamlab OBS or any of those, and you go to your audio tab, under general, right at the top, you have the sample rate for your audio set. And that could either be set at 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. So in my case, it's set at 48 kilohertz. Uh, however, if you have any of your uh, other audio devices outside of OBS set to 44.1 kilohertz, for example, and your OBS is set at 48 kilohertz, uh, then it's going to cause those distortion problems sometimes. And it can be sporadic. It could be whenever it feels like doing it. But basically, your audio gets out of sync. So the way to fix this is actually, and you're not going to be able to see it on my screen because I have to go off screen to pull it up. But if you right click on your uh, audio sounds, you know, icon that's in the bottom right of your taskbar and you click on uh, sounds, it's going to bring up this dialog box right here. 
And here you have your playback and your recording tabs. So what you need to do is you need to, and what happened in my case, uh, is let's say you have your headphones as your default playback source. You want to right click on your headphones, go to properties, select advanced, and under default format, you have all of these different options that you could choose for the Hertz that's running for your uh, computer, you know, for this audio device. And so in my case, uh, you know, this is the one, well, specifically my Spotify, which my virtual audio cable, because again, I'm using a very advanced setup. So for you, it might just be one source, your headphones that you need to go into and make sure you have set the same Hertz as your OBS. But for me, like, and if you're trying to, you know, maybe you did the same thing I did. You installed voice meter, banana, uh, and virtual audio cables and you have the problem. Uh, I actually needed to make sure three different devices, uh, my cable input from my virtual audio cable, my, both my voice meter inputs, I had to make sure all of those were set to, uh, 48,000 uh, Hertz or 48 kilohertz. Because for me, my voice meters were set to 48,000 Hertz, uh, but my cable input, my virtual audio cable was still set to 44.1 for whatever reason, whether that's just the default that the application chooses when you install it or whatever. You also want to make sure you do this for your uh, microphone. So you can actually go in, mine's called analog one plus two because I'm using a XLR to USB receiver and that's just what it's called, Focusrite USB audios. But you wanna go to the properties in that and go to advanced and make sure that matches as well. And, and what I see a lot of people doing uh, is they'll change one or two things and maybe they're not getting them all. So they'll have individual devices that are then stuttering on their stream, but not other devices, which then really confuses them. So I think the solution for most people is that you make sure that the sample rate is set across all of the different devices you're using, whether you're using speakers, whether you're using headphones, whether you're using a setup like mine, um, or a Go XLR setup, or a Focusrite setup, but any kind of device you might be using, you need to make sure all of the sample rates match. That's basically it. Uh, that's the end of this tutorial. It's really not that complicated, but I did a lot of research trying to figure out this issue when I was having it, and I was shocked to find all kinds of forum posts and people asking for help and nobody really knowing what the problem was. So if this didn't help you, I'm sorry. If it does help you, awesome. I'm glad it could, uh, and hopefully uh, you won't have any further issues. If you guys like videos related to streaming and technology and gaming, then make sure you hit the red subscribe button below as well as ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. And also, if you like this video and it did help you out, please don't forget to hit that like button. That helps me out tremendously. And until next time, peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.